Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borek and this is another episode of 7 Days to Die Medieval Mode and we're back to the awesome medieval times where people die as you like. Right, so in the previous episode, quite unfortunately, I have died to the dire wolf and I have returned to my location and killed it. Yeah, that was not a long fight, but still, uh, it was something that I did not like. Right, so in the previous episode, we ventured off to the southern biomes and in today's episode what we're going to be doing is we are going to be looting the rest of the houses that we have over here to see what we can come across fortunately there is a merchant right over here i think we've been here yeah we've been here and there's loads of candles let's pick them up let's pick them up and then i can sell them for quite hefty amount of money and i must admit that i do like this uh, uh candle stands or uh, this type of candles right so we were over here we went to that building definitely i like that torch although that doesn't seem to be medieval to me it's more like victorian times but who cares who cares right so we have some buildings over here that i need to loot because i have oh the shrine yeah we've been here already as well uh so not that great amount of hello mr horsey and uh, not that great amount of uh, things to be looted but still Ah, beer barrels. That's awesome. That's awesome. And also, as you can see, the things have changed since it is B17. Uh, the update that the, the, there was. Hello. There was a recent update. Actually, today there was an update, or yesterday. I don't know. Nevertheless, there was an update. Unfortunately, I think that doesn't require any wipe from me. At least not what Guppy uh, said on the um, on the Seven Days to Die mod section. What the hell is that? gold ring oh look at that and it's worth so much money holy shit that's really nice i don't know if that is the item added uh, to the newest version of the game but still i like it Ooh, some fancy pants that's nice and more fancy pants okay so fancy pants means that we will be able i don't need that bullshit bone shift oh scale male leggings uh cloth pants Okay, so these are definitely better, and cloth pants, I believe I can repair them and then sell them to a trader. Okay, that was just a dead body, somewhere over there. Alright, just checking, yes, I am recording with voice, uh, with, what do you call it, not with voice, with, with, yeah, my voice, basically. Okay, let's make more cloth, and then we can repair repair those and that okay that's more like it and off we go in here because yeah cloth i can sell as well so as you can see the hut on the left in the left bottom corner uh, does look awesome as well quite squeezy room in here that must be like ho hostel of some sort hello oh you lousy bitch attacking me for no reason charlotte Okay, she had a reason, but I was just a service, room service, room service, I'm bringing you death. Yeah, this is how the mod works, if you don't defend you yourself, you will be killed by those guys. Right, is there something hidden? Let's just double check. Nope, nothing is hidden over there. Okay, so that's that. Oh, we have another floor, like an attic. Ooh, quite big. See? That was another one. I guess dog eat dog. But that's okay. What is that? What did I got? A lattice. Lattice leaves just standing on top of the cupboard. How nice. Okay, book piles. Nothing special. Anything in the nightstand? Quite unfortunately, no. And of course, I completely forgot about that. But I can make myself a wrench in a book, in a workbench, I believe. So, I guess I need to be in the workbench to craft it. Okay, so full plate, I know that already, and scale male leggings. Sweet, fantastic, and now I can repair the, the stuff that I have. And look at that, soldier's crossbow, and that one is actually better. Quite unfortunately, I did not brought that, many, that much uh, forged iron with me. And what time is it? It's day six. So that kind of a suck, but still I can go back home. Horsey. I can go back home because I don't want to spend time. Ooh, that one looks really awesome. That house. I still can go back and get some. 
and get some things out of uh, our main base because I need to prepare for the seven horde because it is coming it is coming soon okay cloth cloth okay one cotton definitely I don't need nothing in here nothing in here something hidden in there probably a soldier's bow but that doesn't cost me, that doesn't give me any money so I'm not interested in that look at that hmm really nice those little things you know bone set cloth that's woven I cannot do anything with it probably I can take it apart to get some wool but still I don't I don't care about that right what do we have oh come on so our home is over there and what do we have over here nothing just some ladies there's my horse and people are on a gateway okay fair enough right I'm wondering if I have missed any locations but there's another back door entrance of some sort something in the nightstand Ooh, another cloth pants holy shit hmm I don't know if I want to do that crude knife I can sell it you know what let me just visit the trader sell that cloth that I already have and then we'll continue with the looting because we still have some daytime and probably during the night time I will just go back home and get that forged iron skin of murky water cloth pant I can this I can sell 250 that's nice Leather sleeve, crude knife, blah 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 blah. Crude leather jacket, 114. Yeah, I can sell it. And that candle, quite unfortunately, I cannot sell it. Um, and some book parts, mortar. Yeah, it can go. And beer barrels, I'm not selling that one. No, sorry. I wish I, you could empty the, the the water skins. Like if there would be an empty button to get empty things, empty water skins to fill them up with to fill them up with, with beer, for example. Oh shoot! You are guys aggressive. Twin brothers Simon and Andrew. Andrew is always not Andrew. Simon's always so aggressive. I don't know what's wrong with him. Probably he he had some seasickness or something like that. No idea. Okay. Okay. That's nice. Really nice place. Okay, is there any other houses that I have not looted? Maybe over here? The upper section? Oh, look at that, three of them. And already on the run. Piss off. Oh, I got some pockets. That's nice. And there's still a guy. Yeah, see? The guy is just standing there doing nothing. Let the women do the, all the hard work. Okay, nothing in there. Storage chests to be opened. Okay, I know that this is not a proper tool to open those chests. But I guess that's gonna be all good. Right, more goodies, more goodies, more goodies, and some books. Nice, three pieces. There's a storage chest. I will take it with ease. Aloe cream. And I believe I can take that one apart as well. Right, and some more beds to get more cloth and more cotton righty then some potatoes I don't care about them is this the building Ooh, fancy yeah so this is the building I have not been in so definitely it's worth checking hmm torch no thank you Thanks, but no thanks. Hello. Bye bye, Andrew. Ooh, nice iron shovel. I like it. Okay, th th those candle thingies can go. Definitely they need to go. Ooh, charred meat, thank you, and some hide. And also, thank you guys for letting me know that I should have hide in m on me in my hand in order to upgrade the drying rack and you know that calls for like skin of murky water bye bye and skin of clear water uh, because there is a rack that you can do uh, tanning 
Tanning rack and Capi told me that he's gonna be something he's gonna be doing something with it in the next update B17 update. So let's just check it out hmm. So let's check it out what I can do With it, okay, I know that I can if I find them I can loot them for height Ah, Nice Or maybe that will turn into leather one day. Hmm. Okay, fair enough. We shall see. We shall see and find out about that later on. A bit more, I believe. Okay, so there's mortar. I haven't found anything special. At least that special. 42, 53. Okay, so that one is better. Um, I'm gonna sell that junk. I can scrap this junk, repair that junk, and repair that junk, and then go to a trader and sell all that jazz. Right, that was just a bucket. Is there anything else that I can go for? Cooking pot cauldron, I cannot pick it up. Still, let's just check what's in here. And then probably, I'm thinking if I should be staying over here or return back to my base. The main base at the church. Maybe I should be praying to the gods for salvation. More cooking pots. Same old, same old. Nothing special. I keep finding the, the, the same stuff over and over again. Crude knife. Apple slices. I will give them to my lovely horsey. Because I know that I can do that. <laughs> So yeah, definitely, I shall be doing that. Uh, pe -pe 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 -pe. Oh crap, mystic chisel. I think I, I have like five of them already. Okay, anybody in here? No, that's good. Oops, completely forgot that this is oh, another cloth pants. Now, maybe I can turn Pages set historical. No. Horticulture, whatever that is. Recipes for that one? No. Recipes from Book of Medicine. From Book of Medicine. Okay, fair enough. Beer barrel. I guess you will be going because I can get some money. For those awesome pants, yes, baby, and I guess that's it for this place as well. What the hell happened over here? Is this room possessed or, or what? I don't know, but I'm not plan planning to stay in here for a long time. She was possessed. Olivia is kind of a, a name that you can think that it should be possessed. That it is possessed. Bang, pen, I'm just gonna turn it into iron. More book pages. Some other formula. I think I can do that. And not to mention that I should turn those into cloth fragments and then the remaining stuff just throw, throw it away. Because there's really no use for it, for me. Cloth jacket. I can repair that one, take this one, oh shit. And then put that one in the repairs as well. That will save me some space. Now, there should be entrance to the upper floor. There's a deer. Jacob and Raymond, it was nice meeting you. Nothing special, quite a lot of books in here. What was that? Fork pitch. Oh, and there's another one. Third of the brothers. They all look the same to me, you know. Another cauldron, quite a lot of uh, pots and cauldrons in here, so really good location, I must admit. If you're beginning your adventure with the medieval with the medieval mod, you should head over here and check it out what you can find in this place. 
Right, have I been to this location? Yes, I have because I can see the dead bodies. There's some uh, red, red tea, maybe not red tea, but red stuff. Red. What? He doesn't want it. What a shame. What about mortar, mystic chisel? He will take, accept all of that. Not to mention this one. Iron axe? Ah, ah, ah. Now the question is, did that change? No. Iron pitchfork? Really nice quality. Repair with an iron. If I repair it, what kind of a quality that's gonna be? And that soldier's crossbow, I do like it, I must admit. So that one is 41 versus 54. You know what? That's That might be actually a bit better in terms of destroying stuff than the hammer that I was using. 68, that's 4 hits. Not bad. 4 or 5 hits. And that hammer... 4 hits, but it seems to be a bit faster. So iron pitchfork, I think it, it can go away. Right, I need to take a decision if I'm staying over here. What the hell are those crates for? To keep children inside? Yeah, that doesn't sound right, you know. But you never know. Those medieval times, dark times for humanity. Okay, there's an entrance and I don't think I've been in here. So let's just check it out. No, I have not. She told you then, all of a sudden, they are already attacking me. Okay, cooking pot, some candles, oh, book pile. That's nice, so let's take everything that we can and anything in those nightstands. Just a crude knife. Oh, I wanted to give it to my lovely, lovely horse. So let's go downstairs and let's feed it. Because I think that's it for this location. You know? Okay, let me just check if I can do any book whatsoever. Book of brewing. I have brewing. Horticulture, medicine, blah, blah, blah. Nothing special. Some cloth. Ah, yeah. That iron pitchfork. I think I should put away as well. Or sell it. Now, I have 16 or, or, four, or, or 16. 13,600. Uh, 13, so, that's all good. Now, going back to the workbench. And now let me just check if I can make a wrench. Yes, I can. Ha! Thank you guys for letting me know. Metal strips, that's not that bad. And metal strips, I think I can make them over here. Armored plate, anvil hammer strips. Metal strips with some forged iron. It's not that bad. Although I have anvil back home. Hmm, should I be staying over here? I don't know, I'd rather be closer to my base to my base, and then maybe we should venture out into the darkness of the southern part of this game or this part of Iron Maze. I, I will take it. Pitchfork, Iron Hoe, this is all nice, really nice quality. But the rest I think I can just leave it over here. Pulley I will take though. Crude knife, oh, I should sell that one. And some cloth fragment. Well, I'm gonna be leaving that just in case. Okay, okay. So let's test that apple thingy. And let's hope that these guys are not gonna be changing into any sort of monstro monstrosities. Okay, barter bartering went up. Maybe, maybe not by a level, but still. What about that light? I don't have any light whatsoever, so let me just go and grab a, at least a torch, so you can, guys, at least see something. I think I had a torch over here. Yeah, I have four. One is gonna be just enough to put it right next to the horse. Okay, no more bad guys. And now with those apple slices. Shit. Sorry, horsey. Maybe next time. Okay, so I am off going back home. Where's home? Home is over there. 
So I'll see you guys, I guess, in the next episode. Yeah, because the time is running out, so we have completed looting this place, and I love it. It was really nice. It was really nice addition. So, to top up, that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, oh, farming merchant. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment about the gameplay, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like what you see, and I hope that we will see each other in the next episode. When we will be continuing our awesome adventure with 7 days to die modded medieval mod. So tell that greasy, have fun and happy gaming. Bye bye. Off I go. Giddy up, horsey. Giddy up. Oh, turn.